Hi everybody, welcome to Pro Tools music production course here at educator.com. Let's go over and listen a little demo take I have here. Okay, music production in Pro Tools. We're currently running the 10th edition of Pro Tools by Avid. And this course definitely will give you a whole lot of information about music production in Pro Tools 10, as well as the earlier versions. However, this very first uh, chapter, I really would like to talk about some of the new features in Pro Tools 10 as well as how this course is going to be like, so you have a general idea of what you'll be learning. On this course, for instance, talking about this track here, I used certain things that we will be detailed uh, later on and learn about many things. For instance, there's a lot of elastic audio properties applied here. This is my time compression expansion trimmer um, as well, there is a Pro Tools Virtual Instrument Expand that I use here. In this course, we will be learning actually about all the virtual instruments come with Pro Tools that you have available if you're running the 8th version till today, 9 and 10th versions. So you will find all these instruments. We'll be talking about these. Uh, one of the new features in Pro Tools 10 is clip-based gain and basically I also use that on this track if we listen to this guitar right here. This was one of the also um, funky guitar uh, loop that I just like imported into Pro Tools and it came with again one of the uh, world music samples it was one of the loops count with the Pro Tools so if we go here and uh, under the view menu bar the clip we can go to the clip gain line and then you can see it looks like an automation but it isn't exactly so basically every clip in Pro Tools. By the way, we call the regions clips. If you watch the 101 videos already, we mentioned about this. But if you're running the earlier versions, clips will apply for you as regions. It's one big change on the 10th edition. So on the left bottom corner, we have this fader here that we can go and actually change the clip based gain here which worked out great for me. First of all, um, everything I did on this track, basically I have a drum loop. I have co certain performances of instrument takes that I bust them as an um, audio tracks. And this guitar here, when I went to the double time, which actually you can see in the tempo information, nothing really goes double time at this point. So everything basically uh, pretty much elastic audio this is an elastic audio sign and you can see it right here in the track that it's active you can click on this and you see what kind of elastic audio properties has applied there so this uh, in this course we'll be covering about the elastic audio we will be talking about identified beats we will be talking about beat detective how to fix beats uh, in Elastic Audio, we'll be mentioning about how we use the Elastic Audio, how we will be able to um, stretch grooves as well, uh, apply pitch change um, on certain uh, audio. So it's it's really great unit. I recommend you to check it out. As well, we will be talking about all the virtual plugins, virtual instruments in Pro Tools. We'll be talking about editing deeply. We're going to go ahead and talk about uh, MIDI editor and score editor windows. 
uh, more detailed as well as some of the new features if I go to the um, mix window you'll see my automatic delay compensation it's on here so there's a unit about automatic delay compensation uh, it was a new feature in Pro Tools 9 uh, for us to more plugins that we add to our session more delay that we need to compensate so we're talking about that there is more units in the end of the course about fades cross fades all the other editing uh, we apply how we use some of our editing tools is a little bit advanced than what we covered in the 101 course so those are pretty cool if you want to improve with your editings and get faster as well as uh, we'll talk about some of the new plugins Pro Tools have uh, these are some of these I already I already use some of these um, this is one of them channel strip and we got a mod delay by Avid there are a couple of uh, plugins that we're going to go over and talk about. We're going to talk about effects a little bit. As well as um, editing and a couple of other things really cool in the Beat Detective. So definitely check those out. And at this point, I'd like to just like solo to show you a little bit the clip bass gain here. So I have a certain volume for this guitar take. However, I can apply changes to the volume in general. As you see, the click did not change. So this is basically just an elastic audio. And I can change my clip based gain. So it would give me a visual feel of what happens. That's how it works kind of different to that automation and it's got nothing to do with automation it's just great and if you see right here we can go here and under clip we can actually turn off the clip based gain and right here we have an elastic audio that this take <laughs> Again, the click stays, no tempo changes apply. So basically what happens here, if we talk about this audio right here, let's co close the clip view too, so we can focus on this one. If you have your Elastic Audio with TCE tool, what I applied here actually with, the, my, with my time compression expansion, I can expand this one to bring this file, double this file to slow down uh, to this tempo again. It's exactly like this tempo. Or I can bring back. And if you, <laughs> it's double time. So, as you pay attention, the name of the clip, whatever I apply, it's not changing, everything's real time. Of course, I'm off the click right now, but whatever changes that I apply, as opposed to using the TCE trimmer without the um, elastic audio, I would lose the quality of this file, basically, right there. So. All of these stuff covered in the Elastic Audio, it's a it's really great tool to actually have under our hands. And besides that, we also cover under the event menu here, time operations, tempo operations, and event operations. Each one of them are covered as different units uh, as much as possible to be able to give you a general idea um, to be able to make your recordings, your MIDI recordings, uh, audio recordings and editings much faster in a way. There are certain things there. Um, for instance, most of us are not piano players. So if you go to event operation and if you know how to use quantize, input quantize or setup uh, or step input, 
to uh, do your setups earlier uh, or even later for the quantize, some of them earlier, some of them later, you can actually really correct some of the timings um, and some of the pitch correction in a way which also explains advanced in the MIDI editor window. So those units are great to really improve your performances as a player, especially if you are not a piano player and you have like MIDI controllers that we need to perform. So these are really great units to check it out. So that's basically our introduction to music production with Pro Tools. Uh, definitely check all the units that's also available uh, as free samples here in our links uh, to get the entire idea. But this is really exciting journey uh, to go over each unit to learn more about how we can approach things and learn more about how we can uh, produce music, record, edit better in Pro Tools. So thank you for watching educator.com and have fun with all the chapters.